peeps? It's your girl, Dash, coming back to Front Takes. Well, it's that time again, guys. It is movie news time. Now, this one won't be too lengthy. I know the last one I did was probably like a good hour. This one, just a couple things came out, little updates on some movies, a couple news about some reboots, and then just a couple stuff that's finally um, kind of coming into fruitation, which I'm actually excited about. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, the first thing I just want to discuss has to do with Marvel's The Eternals. Now, we already know, and I had discussed this, especially when we were talking about all this during Comic-Con, how um, the Eternals, of course, is going to fall within Phase 4. And I'm excited about it. I talked about it, I want to say, off and on for the last good six months, almost to a year, when it was in the beginning stages, and I was wanting to know who was going to finally be cast. We were hearing about it, you know, development, the director being Chloe Zhao um, is attached to it. I'm excited about that. And once we found out who was actually being brought on, one of the first things, of course, was Angelina Jolie. It was her and kind of thing, I want to say Richard Madden was the first. And then eventually you started hearing more and more names as time went on. And of course, when we got the reveal at Comic-Con, when they showed, you know, kind of um, the full cast of them coming out, you know, I was excited. I was hyped. I was already hyped because I was loving the way certain things were happening when you were hearing about some of the um, characters, the Eternals, the names, what characters they would actually be portraying, whichever had me a little bit in intrigued because it's something a little different than what we've been used to with... Um, kind of getting to know Marvel through the lens of um, known as the Avengers so I'm excited beyond hype for the movie specifically just just off of the fact that it's gonna be something a little bit different definitely a little bit more diversity in this particular um, actual um, group all coming together now with that said we're starting to get a uh, set photos and a couple I just wanted to throw out here you know it was once they're showcasing um, Angelina Jolie playing of course blonde haired Athena now I'm excited because she's considered you know one of the greatest warriors you know within the group of the Eternals um, I didn't realize a lot of people were kind of surprised she um, didn't get another role i was curious who she would be playing when i initially started talking about this months ago i want to say earlier this year and i like the one she's gonna be playing because i will say the notice she's one to consider the greatest warriors the excitement for the fact because when you see a lot of the movies that angela plays she definitely plays very strong willed characters whichever very like you know in terms you know you can use the word gory if you want whichever so I feel like that's probably the most fitting now the main person I think they thought she was going to play was I think a Jacques which is actually going to be the, the leader of all the super you know power you know Eternals you know that is the character Selma Hayek will be playing so and that's fine I think that the, the people who are playing whomever that's perfectly uh that's a perfect you know choice for each and every one of these characters and that's fine I'm looking forward to seeing her now from the photo sets they show it shows her what it looks like to be in some sort of, you know, wet white dress with a gold kind of like belt, whatever. Um, I know some people would probably be surprised that they thought she would be possibly in her um, suit from the concept after they showed during, um, what was it, um, the D23, but no did not and that's fine i would rather that be revealed later hopefully not so so much if they show it from afar just don't show it so up close i want to see the see the real look of it within um the actual movie or when we get the actual trailer excuse me but i'm excited because it says it looks like she's you know somewhere don't know if it's earth or another galaxy she looks like she's of course over water and she's spreading something now word is saying that they think it might be her spreading some ashes somebody you know might have had a, a funeral or something we don't know if that's to be true I, that's can be considered far-fetched but it's fine it is what it is um there's not a lot of information going on in regards to storyline as of yet but i think as time goes on we'll get a little bit more i like that we're seeing her you know definitely you know some set posts for that and let me just be honest with you i'm not surprised we didn't see it the way they follow her with her her family or her so i'm not surprised out of all the people we got to see her whichever they forever want a picture of angelina and in some sort of form capacity and it doesn't always have to be with her work so you know of all the people from the movie it would be her first and so we would see some set photos i'm looking forward to seeing some of the other characters um I want to see definitely Kamal, see how he looks, Richard Madden, uh, you know, Gemma Chan, Selma Hayek, Don Lee. I just want to see all of them and hopefully start seeing the concept art for um, the character played by Kit Harrington, uh, Black Knight. I know a lot of some individuals are not, you know, too keen on that one. I'm excited because it's something a little different and I want to see it. This whole Eternals, a lot of people wasn't on their radar. I wasn't expecting anything from this, but like I said, over the course of a year, the more and more information I got, it has to be definitely intrigued. And now that we have this star-studded cast, I'm on board. I can't speak for everybody else, but I know I'm looking forward to seeing this. this is one of those ones I'm definitely looking forward to seeing. The date is November 6, 2020. Just want to throw that back out there to remind. We have a long way to go over a year. And since they already started, this gives us an idea that this is going to give them all the time they need 
to get this baby ready. Secondly, at the rate they're doing it, since it does come out in November, this lets you know that we most definitely will get something around Comic-Con next year for sure. They were there this year. You already know they're going to probably be here the, uh, the following year. So it's, it's going to be something to see. And I feel like with these particular actors coming on board for this, they see something, you know, something great within this particular script, you know, Angelina, Salma, you know, this this is it, Don, I mean, really. So I'm, I'm really excited. I just look forward to seeing everybody, you know, showcasing, you know, their platform with their characters, just giving us something really, something new and awesome to look at. So I'm, I'm really hyped for that one. So but with that said, moving on. Now this one, I talked about it for the last couple of weeks. I'm hearing film has begun and this has to do with Mortal Kombat. You already know how I feel. I've made it abundantly clear. Let me post that picture of all the cast so far. I don't know if anybody else is coming on board, but these are the, the, the main ones that we're going to be seeing. I'm excited. Uh, Greg Russo put out on Twitter a picture I'm going to post up here where it says, It has begun. I uh, am beyond high. We have a ways for this one. We have a ways. This doesn't come out to March 5th of 2021. So this gives them time to definitely work on making sure this is one of the best that they're creating. Plus, it's produced by James Wan. I'm here for it. All I can say is I'm looking forward to seeing some, I want to see all of the different ones that are going to be, you know, fighting, but I'm looking forward to seeing Sub-Zero. I'm looking forward to seeing Sonya Blade. I'm looking forward to seeing Scorpion. I'm looking forward to seeing Melina. Those, those right there, honestly, I'm really looking forward to seeing. I just feel like we're in for truly a treat on this one. The casting for all the particular individuals who are playing said characters. I can't say enough. I'm, I'm beyond, I'm really beyond hype for this one as well. This, this is going to be one that I feel like a lot of people are going to come out and see, especially people who play the game. Um, I remember the first movie came out in 95. So yeah, I'm just, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. So I just want to come on and kind of put that out there. They have officially begun filming. I'm here for it. Hopefully something will leak. We'll see some pictures, but you never know. Um, we don't get a lot of that, anything in regards to stuff that's, um, with James Wan, he's actually producing and directing that gets kind of flushed out now. Well, let me take that back a little bit, maybe a little bit with Aquaman. So, you know, let me let me jump the gun, you know, double that back. But hopefully get to see a couple set photos. I don't care how far they're away, but you get an idea of what's happening, who's who. But yeah, I'm here for it. So just want to kind of put that out there really quickly. So moving on. Now, this is one I'm definitely looking forward to and I'm excited about this. Let's do with Ghostbusters 3. Now, you all remember the first two. I love the first one. Enjoy the second one. Uh, of course, that was both those two were directed by Ivan Reitman. Now, this one, the third installment is being directed by his son, Jason Reitman, and he considers this to be considered like a love letter to the first two. And I kind of like that. Now, you already know how I felt when I found out that Sigourney Weaver and um, Bill Murray would be attached. Now, I'm hearing, of course, uh, Dan Aykroyd is going to be coming on board. Yay. And Ernie Hudson will be back. I'm hearing that Annie Potts kind of put out that she would love to be you know kind of be you know put out there to be considered you know to come back you know you know like i said i would love for some of them even if it's just like you know quick little you know walk through you know just to see them whatever the nostalgic of it all just make me so so happy just to see all of them and also rick moranis that would be nice he was in the, the second one as well and him and Potts character got together so that would be nice they see them still together you know hence after that movie so that's a possibility. Now, I remember me telling you all about some new cast members coming on board. We have Carrie Coon, who plays the mother to um, Finn, uh, what is it, Will Hart's uh, character, and also uh, Grace McKinnon. Those are the two of the siblings. Um, now, let me give you a little bit of the synopsis with them, just to kind of give you an idea again. Remember, you guys, it says this is, of course, a family living in a small town. Soon find themselves tangling with some strange, you know, strange somethings in the neighborhood. Now, there's another person who's come on board, didn't realize it is whichever and all, but I love to keep up with my stuff, and this has to do with Paul Rudd. I am a fan of him for quite a few decades. Really, you know, I can't say enough about him. He's He is hilarious. So, really, the first time I saw him was in the movie Clueless, um, and then, of course, he did Friends, you know, and then when he did A 40-Year-Old Virgin, oh my God, I was in tears when he worked in the place. I mean... The scene of him with the backside on video for all the TVs, just, oh my God, just, I uh, just can't say enough about him. He's just too much. And of course, Ant-Man, what, what can I say? Now with him, his character, let me just throw out there what I'm getting from them. They're claiming he's going to be playing a seismologist. He said he comes to the small town because he's been experiencing some mysterious earthquakes. It says he also will be um, a teacher for summer 
summer school of sorts. Don't know if it's going to be for Grace McKinnon's character or for Finn's character, you know, so we'll have to see. And one thing more so for um, maybe the older, you know, I don't know about a young one like Grace McKinnon's character being a seismologist, you know, teacher or whatever, but it could be just for science for summer school, so you never know. So that will be interesting to see, you know, him doing that so he can be close to the to the town to kind of investigate on the side or something like that. That's what I'm kind of getting a, a vibe for. That would be cool. But um, bringing back, like I said, old cast and bringing in some new cast. I don't know if this is setting up, you know, for what they're planning to do with this being that this is all going to be together now, like a full, you know, straight off franchise one, two, and the three now being on this. But I'm just here for it. I'm looking forward to this. I'm hoping by the end of the year we will get. Um, maybe some sort of teaser maybe de December January the movie comes out July it's supposed to be July the 10th of next year right smack in the middle of summer so that's going to be actually cool I look forward to that I'm definitely going to watch the first two right probably the week before it comes out just so I can kind of get my mind fresh again I mean I know every aspect of the movie doesn't matter but just the excitement of it all just so I can enjoy it again that'll be nice but I look forward to seeing in what capacity um, the, the original cast members will be in, in this particular one are they related to any of these new characters we're going to be introduced of course you know Carrie Coon's character you know the mother bringing the two you know siblings I'm curious about that when I keep wanting to think it could be Bill Murray or whatever and all that I don't know I doubt it I just know I don't know we're gonna have to see how that is because let's just be real if you think about the first one they never showed them having any women you know women in their lives per se except Bill Murray's character was Sigourney Weaver but that was them getting to know each other and dating never saw that they had kids or anything that's why I said it'd be a little far-fetched but it's a possibility, you know, it's a possibility. So I'm not going to make any assumptions or whatever. We're just going to, have to just kind of wait and see what they're going to give us. And I'm here for it. I'm excited for it. Oh, I tell you, love letter, huh? Yeah, you can say that because I do love the first stuff. But moving on from that. Now, this one, I am really am excited because I talked about this late last year because this brother has a lot going on in his life and this has to do with Michael B. Jordan. This would be in regards to maybe a new franchise coming to town for him and that has to do with the Tom Clancy novels. I talked about him being attached to be in the Tom Clancy one called um, Without Remorse. Now I'm excited about this one because we're getting more information now. I was waiting because let's just be real, brother's been busy. You know, of course, and when he did Killmonger, you know, of course, in you know, Black Panther, then of course, you know, him doing um, Creed and Creed 2, you know, possibly might do a Creed 3. I hope that is the case. That would be nice. Um, and then now he has another movie coming out in November, Just Mercy. I did the trailer reaction for that. It, was a, it looks like it's going to be a great movie. Nice little ensemble cast there. Now this one, of course, he's attached to this. And let me read up a little bit for him. This is going to be definitely an origin story, the way they're starting this off, whichever. Now it's stating, of course, him being a former Navy SEAL. And it says he goes to work for the CIA. Now from there, this is where I'm going to pick up. We have two new cast members who have been added now, Jamie Bell and Jody Turner-Smith. Now I'm excited for this. First off, it looks like um, we're going to have two individuals getting back together. If you all recall, um, Michael B. Jordan and Jamie Bell were together in Fantastic Four, the one that came out that was just not good <laughs> at all. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to just rip it, whatever, and all that. I think, honestly, both of them would like to forget, but it is what it is. It's out there. It's out in sphere. Um, that's exciting that they get to team back up again. Uh, you know, what is it? Torch and um, The Thing. Um, also, um, in fact, Jamie Bell, he recently did the Rocket Man movie, um, so he's kind of been staying busy. Also, with Jodie Turner Smith, she's been on a couple of shows like, um, what is it, The Last Ship and Night Flyer. I remember Night Flyer from Sci Fi. And also, she's going to be in Queen and Slim with Daniel Kalula. I'm ex actually excited about that. It comes out in November. So, this is a nice little cast. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a synopsis on what's happening with these two particular characters who are going to be attached to the movie. Now, for uh, Jamie Bell, he plays Robert Ritter. He's the deputy director of operations at the CIA. He's actually the one that goes about recruiting Clark, played the character by Michael B. Jordan, for CIA. That's interesting right there. Then also Jodie Turner-Smith's character, her name is Karen Greer. Might be possible a love interest. They're claiming it could be some other um, character she might be actually affiliated with or, you know, related to. Nothing's been written out in stone, whatever, and all that. It's just be kind of thrown out there, whispers, whichever. So we'll have to see if that's actually true. If she's just a love interest or is a lot more than that that we don't know, whichever. That will be interesting. Now, I'm looking forward to seeing how they're going to develop the story, whichever. That will be nice. We already know about the other Tom Clancy with the Jack Ryan character uh, played by John Krasinski, which is doing very, very well. I think they have a season two uh, coming out. I don't know when. I forgot the date, the date of that. Um, but I'm looking forward to this 
this one because um, I had already stated it when he finished Black Panther I knew he was getting ready to start you know getting um, on board with doing Creed 2 and then once he finished doing press he was already getting ready to start uh, taping uh, what was it Just Mercy which was last year um, around that time of November so here we are trailers already come out like about less than um, what a couple weeks ago and now we know that he's getting ready to start um, this one because once he starts uh, press for Just Mercy right into um, Without Remorse now I feel like this is the beginning of him having his own action, you know, franchise thing that he's going to be doing, you know, similar to like, you know, Tom Cruise does with Mission Impossible. This will be great. I'm looking forward to this and I'm hoping that does resonate for the possibility of them doing um, a next one, which is considered the next novel, Rainbow Six, which is what I discussed as well. So I'm here for it. I'm excited. I'm hyped. It looks like we're getting it. Now, the director for this is uh, Stefano Salema. I want to say his name correctly. He actually directed um, Sakara Day of Soldado love that movie so i'm here for it i that right there lets me know i'm gonna get some action i'm here for it let's just make sure that storyline is on par what's decent in the sicario too i'm cool with that so i'm looking forward to seeing how they're going to do the storyline that can just move along but with the novels that should not be that hard it's only so much they can you know fit within the movie off of a novel you already know how that goes so but hopefully it'll be good and i'm looking forward to seeing who else will be in this movie. I think this is just the beginning for knowing who else will be in the movie. But this is a good start. I like the way this is kind of coming together. So I just want to kind of put that out there, you guys. So moving on from that. Now, this is a reboot. I was none too happy to hear about. A, fr a friend had brought this up to me, whichever. And I have to always catch myself when I say this because I don't want to come off with a big H on my head, aka hypocrite. And this has to do with the craft. And that's the movie that's getting a reboot now. This was four years in the making. This is something that's been being discussed since 2015. I'd heard whispers about this a while back. And then when I didn't hear about it, I said, okay, that, that means they're not doing it. Okay, fine. Because I love the original. You know, the ladies that came out in 95, it had, of course, Robert, Robin Tooney, uh, Feruza Balk, um, Rachel True, and Nev Campbell. You know, you know, a girl comes into town, whatever, and she befriends three girls who consider outsides in high school. They start doing sort of witchcraft, and it kind of evolves and takes on, you know, from there, whichever, and, and certain things start happening, you know. Needless to say, I was just like, you know, it was a lot of different movies that came out in the 90s, whichever there was like, and that was one of those main ones. It was a couple other movies that were female-based back then. I can't recall all at the moment. Mine's frazzled. <laughs> but that was one of those ones I like, whatever, and it's considered like a little classic, whichever. So to hear that they're finally getting their footing now and we're finally going to get this reboot, I don't know how to feel about it, so to speak. Um, like I've said many times, whatever, and all that, a lot of these um, movies, um, the originals still hold up to me. I just don't feel like everything needs to be remade. Um, I do know one thing. Um, there's some other ones that came up that people have been talking about, and some people are none too happy. I'm talking about the Princess Bride, I'm not even here for that one. I'm, I'm not even lying. I'm like, no, but I know some people like, you know, the original one might not have been all that great, whichever, and if the second, the, the, the reboot is done better, whichever, and that can be the case. I know me, I like the original. If the reboot comes out, all you can do is this. You just don't go see it. That's your way of saying, you know, I'd rather just enjoy the original. And there's nothing wrong with that. Some people want to see it and I like the, the reboot fine. Hey, you do what you do. It is what it is, whichever. I already know me. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about this. Even if I see the trailer, doesn't mean I'm going to still want to see the movie. But like I said, I would enjoy the trailer when it comes out and we will see how that goes. Now, this particular casting on this, let me go ahead and get the names correctly. I'm going to post the pictures of the ladies up here. Um, the first one, her name is Gideon Aldon. Adlon, excuse me. She was um, on a show called The Society. Now, Lovey Simone, I recognize her. She's on the show on OWN called uh, Greenleaf, the OWN network, excuse me. Then we have uh, Zoe Luna. She actually is on the show Pose. Hello. And then we have Kaylee Spain. Now, that one right there, I'm fully aware of her. She was, of course, in um, Pacific Rim Uprising, but she was also in another movie I love called uh, Bad Times of El Roy. I really enjoyed her in that. So this is a nice little cast, and I think uh, Kaylee Spaney is actually the main character. She plays the same char character that Robin Tooney character was playing in this one. Her name in this one, if I'm not mistaken, they state her name is Hannah as opposed to the name I think they gave Robin Tooney. I think it was Sarah. If I'm not mistaken, I'm trying to make sure I'm getting the names correctly. But um, the director for this, her name is Zoe Lister Jones. So I'm looking forward to seeing this. I heard, you know, all female cast, female director and female, you know, production and all that for this. So need to say, oh, excuse me. I was about to sneeze. Mm. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I caught it, caught it before it came. Um, so, but yes, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to at least seeing the trailer. I'm going to keep an open mind see what they you know venture out to show in regards to the overall trailer but again like i stated 
I still love the original one. It's still great. The ladies, I think, do some of them do um, certain horror cons, whichever. So you know, the love, of course, for them is 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 fresh, still there, whichever. They have their following of people who love them from that movie. So we'll we'll have to see. I yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know, guys. I'm just putting it out there. You can definitely know me. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think, because I'm curious to know how you all feel about this one, whichever. You know, I already made my my feelings truly known about this. You know, I'm not going to even harbor on it too much from that. But besides that, now moving from that. The last thing I wanted to talk about was actually um, a movie that I'm looking forward to because it's by um, one of my favorite directors of all time, and that's Guillermo del Toro. This has to do with um, kind of a readaptation, basically, um, really another <laughs> reboot, and this is, has to do with Nightmare Alley. This was based off of a novel from 1946, which was you know adapted into a film in 1947. I'm excited for this one, the simple fact, of course, with him being the director, but also this cast. The cast looks so good. I'm going to post a picture up here. I mean, let me think off the top of my head. We have what Ron Ron Perlman. We have uh, Tony Collette. We have uh, Kate Blanchett. We have Michael Shannon. We have um, William Defoe. We have Bradley Cooper. We have Rooney Mara. Um, we have was it Mark Pavanelli? Uh, and I feel like I'm missing somebody. Am I missing a name on here? I feel like Richard Jinkson, Jinkson, and I think that's all nine of them, if I'm not mistaken. I was close. Um, I'm excited for this one, and I love when he has repeat um, actors who've worked with him. Of course, Ron Portman, Richard Jenkins. Ugh, yes, yes, you know, just right there, you know, Hellboy and Shape of Water, just this all I can think of right off the top of my head, whatever, but I, and Michael Shannon, of course. So, but yes, I am looking forward to this. Let me give you a little bit of a synopsis, because the whole thing with this is that when it first started off, this information I said earlier in the year, um, a person that was being considered for this was Leonardo DiCaprio, but he decided to go, you know, he stepped away, and he's going to be working on the movie, what is it called, that I'm looking forward to as well, Killers of the Flower Moon with Martin Scorsese. Not surprised. I, he's worked with him so many different times. I really, I'm really looking forward to Leonardo working with Guillermo del Toro. I thought this would have been a perfect movie. I really wish that Killer, you know, that movie is coming out later, like a couple years from now, so he could have done something. Because I'm going to be really wanting to know what is going to be the movie that's going to make him stay on board, so he does not, you know, step out, step, you know, take a step back and then leave and go and work on another movie. You know, so that, that I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be really interesting because I think when I think about the particular role and this particular character within this one, that was the potential of this one being really a good one for him. But that's just my personal opinion. Now, let me give you a little bit of the story set for this. This is um, set in a world of carnival hustlers and con men. It says telling the story of a mentalist played by Bradley Cooper. He said he teams up with a psychologist in order to swindle the rich. The things go south. For the poor sap because when he has started to be out hustled by the women so i'm looking forward to seeing you know if it's all the women or is it just said women will that be tony collette i feel like definitely it's going to be kate blanchett so it's going to be really interesting seeing how this all builds up you know and just how he's going to portray this particular character because i'm looking at that 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 overall you know breakdown right there i wrote down and I can just visualize DiCaprio. No offense to Bradley Cooper, but just the potential of what could have been. But that's fine. It is what it is. But I'm definitely looking forward to seeing this. Um, don't know when um, actual um, production starts. Hopefully soon. I know Tony Collette was one of the last ones who just actually came on board um, earlier this um, month. So the cast is it just we have everybody I think who's literally truly on board with this so it's going to be really interesting to see um how this one is uh done I'm hoping like, this is something that's coming out um maybe next year it's a possible late I don't know um like I said once I know when the production starts I can probably get a sense of when that actually is going to happen but yes I'm looking forward to this movie anything honestly with Del Toro that comes out I look forward besides this him doing tv um Yes, just The Strain was one of the last like show shows I really was you know watching faithfully. I have the last season on DVR still, whichever. So yeah, I'm just I'm really looking forward to his uh, next installment. You know, for um his movie that I really want to get into. So but yes, this is it, you guys. I just want to come and come on here really quickly. I'm just talk about a couple of things. A lot of stuff was you know hyping off the last couple of weeks. A lot of stuff was coming out as you can see from my previous movie news. So this is actually refreshing just to have a little bit of discuss and just. Kind of throw it out there but like i said always just comment below let me know what you think about anything i discuss and with that said i will see you guys on the next movie news you guys take care